Hello everyone. Welcome back to Indian Online School. Hope you all are doing great. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to explain you about SOF International English Olympiad Level 2 paper. So let's get started. Okay, so this is your first section of this paper, Word and Structured Knowledge. For questions 1 to 10, choose the correct option to complete each sentence. Okay, so you have to read the questions very carefully and you have to answer them correctly. Okay, so here the first question is, Ankur likes to play guitar and now he dashed to build his career in the same. So this sentence is given in the present tense and it's about Ankur likes to play guitar and then you have to uh, choose a correct action verb that is in the past and also it has its influence in the present time. Okay, so that means you need a verb in present perfect tense. As Ankur is your singular third person, you need has as your auxiliary and the correct answer would be Ankur likes to play guitar and now he has decided to build his career in the same. Okay, so option C is your correct answer. Now let's go to the second question of this paper. Dash, are you planning to meet this weekend? Are they your college mates? So here you need a pronoun to complete this sentence. Whose, we cannot use this as this is used to show the possession. Okay, so this can't be our answer. Who is, are you planning? No, this will not fit this uh, uh, blank. Okay, so let's go to the next option. That is what, what is used to indicate the things. But here we are talking about people. Okay, so we can't use this option even. So whom are you planning to meet this weekend? Are they your college mates? So it should be option D. Now. A recent study on mental health says having dash dog as a pet relieves stress for most people. So here we are referring to dog. It is not any specific dog. We are talking about any dog in general. So we need the indefinite article over here. Having a dog as a pet relieves stress for most people. So option A is your correct answer. Now. Sakshi dash her family dash in front of the guests with her irrational behavior. Okay, so here we are given few of the phrasal verbs in the option. So the first one is let down. So this phrasal verb is used to show that uh, it's like when you are using this phrasal verb let down, it means it's like you fail to achieve something or it's like you have spoiled the reputation or you did not meet the expectation or it can also be used to uh, show like a kind of disappointment. Okay, so next one is let out. It's like to release somebody or something to leave a place. Okay, and let off. It's like to let somebody do something. Okay, and let in is to allow somebody to enter. So here Sakshi dash her family in front of the guests with her irrational behavior. So it should be let down. Okay, so Sakshi let her family down in front of the guest with her irrational behavior. It's like Sakshi disappointed her family. Okay, so it's option A. She is blessed with dash acting and singing skills. Okay, so here she is blessed with dash acting and singing skills. She has a beautiful, uh, she has a bright future. So it means it is, pathetic means poor, bad. Okay, so we cannot use uh, this uh, option here. Okay, because it's like she has a bright future. So definitely it should be something good, right? So marvelous means wonderful. Okay, we can use it. Like she is blessed with wonderful acting and singing skills. She has a bright future. Okay, so this option fits your blank perfectly. Okay, so normal acting skill, no, ominous, no. How can it be ominous? Okay, so the correct answer is option B, marvelous acting and singing skills. Next, we have finished all our assignments on time and now we have dash time to relax. So we cannot use any as this is used for something negative. So we can't, it can't be our answer. Now almost to time, no, this is not the correct one. We cannot use almost for 
this uh, blank, okay? Often time, no, we don't need any adverb here. So it should be enough time. Like we need adjective of quantity, okay? So here we have uh, the correct answer as option D. Now we have enough time to relax. You dash pay your attention to the rumors. They are all baseless. You just try and concentrate on your work. So here, when you're using may not, may is used to show the possibility. Okay, so we cannot use it over here. So now could, could not is used to show the inability. And even this can't be used here. Need not. It's like you do not pay attention to the rumors. Okay, so we cannot, we can use option C here to complete our given sentence. Okay, so you need not pay attention to the rumors. They are baseless. And would is again, would not is used to show the uh, persons like uh, they are when they are not willing to do something. Okay, so the correct answer is option C need not pay attention to the rumors. Next, on teacher's day, students gifted a dash of flowers to their respected teachers. So here, when we are using it for flowers, we need a collective noun. So it should be a bouquet of flowers to their respected teacher. Let's go to the next question. Dash the heavy workload she passed out in the meeting. Passed out means like to lose consciousness or to faint. Okay, so it should be because of the heavy workload. Okay, so because of is your correct answer, which is your preposition which is used to show the reason for something okay so because because of the heavy workload she passed out in the meeting is your correct answer next i dash my professional commitment and work very hard to achieve the goal so it should be related to something uh in the pres uh, future tense okay work very hard to achieve the goal so it should be i will respect my professional commitment and work hard to achieve the goals. So option B is your correct answer. Now, for questions 11 and 12, choose the correct option for the underlined word. Lack of education leads to poverty in the country. So what is poverty here? Which type of noun it is? It is definitely an abstract noun which cannot be seen, which cannot be touched. Okay, so it's option B, your correct answer. Next, despite his hard work, he failed to clear the exam. So here, what is the underlying word despite? So despite is definitely a preposition. Despite his hard work, he failed to clear the exam. Okay, so option C is your correct answer. Now let's go to the next question. For questions 13 and 14, choose the Correct spelling. How do you spell the word that means a person who lives next door? So definitely it's neighbor, right? And E I G H B O U R. So it's option A. Next, how do you spell the word that means having a good understanding of the way people behave? So it's called sophisticated way of behaving. Okay, so it is option C S. O P H I S T I C A T E D sophisticated option C. Now for questions 15 and 16, choose the part of the sentence that has an error. Okay, so here after studying for almost five years at Russia, she now speaks Russian very well. So when we are uh, talking about a country, it shouldn't be at, it should be in after studying for almost five years in Russia. So we have an error in this part. Okay, so it is option B, almost five years at. Okay, it should be in. Now, we are highest honored to have you as our chief guest. Your honored is your adjective. Okay, so you need an adverb of degree to describe this adjective. Should be, we are highly honored to have you as our chief guest. So we have error in this part of this sentence. Okay, so it should be option A, we are highest. It should be highly, okay. Now let's go to the next question. 
For questions 17 and 18, choose the correct antonym of the given word. Antonym means opposite. Okay. So favorable means advantageous. Okay. So we have to find the opposite of this given word. Right. So here the opposite of favorable, favorable would be disadvantageous. Okay. Advantageous, disadvantageous. So it's option C. Now, inevitable. Inevitable means which is certain to happen. Okay. So for the opposite, uh, we can take uncertain. Okay. Certain, uncertain. So option A is again your correct answer. Now, for questions 19 and 20, choose the correct synonym of the given word. So synonym means same meaning word. Okay. So what do you mean by perplex? Perplex means puzzled. Okay, confused. So here, the correct answer would be option B, confused. Okay, stable, you know, egoist means like selfish person. Melancholic means uh, like, uh, what do you say, sadness. Okay, they're going through sadness. Next, you have the word frenzy. What do you mean by frenzy? Frenzy means it's like an uncontrolled emotion which could be violent. Okay, so now that could be considered as your anger. Okay. So, we can take the synonym as rage, which means uncontrolled anger. Okay, so frenzy, rage. Okay, so option C is your correct answer. So, with this, we have completed the first section. Now, let's go to the second section of this paper, that is reading. Okay, so as I've already told you about this section, that you have to read the passage carefully and you have to answer the questions. Okay, so this is the easiest part of the paper because everything will be mentioned in the, everything will be given in the passage. It's only that you have to read it carefully and you have to answer them correctly. Okay, so for questions 21 to 25, read the passage and answer the questions that follow. So just read this passage carefully and try to answer the questions correctly. So the first question is, choose the best title or heading for the passage. Okay, so this passage is about mammoth and mastodons, the extinct species. Okay, so it's option B. What kind of hair did the American mastodon have? So here they have long reddish brown hair. It's option C. Next, which paragraph talks about the reasons for the extinction of mastodons and mammoths? So it is the paragraph four, which talks about the reason for the extinction. Now let's go to the question number 24. The only continents in which the remains of the mammoths have not been found are, they are Australia and South America. Okay, so it's option D. What does the word immense mean in the first paragraph? So immense, it means something that is very big, okay, that is very large in size. So it can't be minuscule, which means very small, huge. Yes, this could be our answer as immense means something that is very big. Okay, so option B is your correct answer. Horse means something that is very rough and meager, something that is in small quantity. Okay, so it's option B, your correct answer. Now let's go to the second paragraph of this section. For questions 26 to 30, read the passage and answer the questions that follow. So read it carefully and answer the questions correctly. If you go through the passage, you can easily answer these questions. So let's go to the first section, uh, first question of this passage. Choose the best title or heading for the passage. So this passage is about the strength of gentleness. Okay, so option B is your correct answer. Now, how did the old man react after the wind started to blow? So, he clutched his overcoat a bit tighter. Okay, so it is option B. Now, which paragraph explains the competition the wind had proposed? It is the paragraph 2. Okay, it's option D. Now, who said the given sentence, I am the most powerful of all natural forces? So, this was said by the wind. Okay, so option C is your correct 
answer. The word nasty in the third paragraph means, nasty means something that is very unpleasant. Okay, so it's option B. So students, with this, we have completed the second section of this paper. Now let's go to the last section of this paper. That is your achiever section. So I repeat again, please be careful while attempting this section. Okay, because as it is fetching you more marks, you need to be very careful. Okay, so for questions 31 and 32, choose the correct option to complete each sentence. Mohit and Jay are very popular dash the kids in the school. So like we have to use among the kids in the school as they both play dash the school's basketball team. So they both play for the school's basketball team. So it should be option C. Among the kids in the school as they both play for the school's basketball team. My father had been dash last night because he had a very important meeting this morning. So here you need an idiom to complete this sentence. So as he had a very important meeting, what he must be doing? He must be burning the midnight oil, which means he is working late into the night because of the important meeting that he had this morning. So it should be option B. So students to uh, solve such type of questions, to answer such type of questions, you need to be good enough in your idioms. Okay, so like here you are given another idiom like by hook or by crook. It means to achieve something by any possible means. Okay, and bury the hatchet means to end the quarrel and become friendly again. And fly the coop means to escape. Okay, so burning the midnight oil means to work late into the night. So this is our correct idiom to be used to complete the given sentence. Okay, now let's go to the next question. Choose the correct antonym of the given word. So antonym means you have to find out the opposite of the given word, arbitrary. Okay, arbitrary means something that is done without any proper plan or without any particular uh what do you say, reason, okay. So for that, we cannot use renowned, which means famous, okay. Revamp means to change something to, to make it look better, okay. And rational means something that is done uh, based on some reason, okay. And random, something that is random, uh, that is very, like, uh, uh, that is done without any proper, uh, planning or in an orderly way. Okay, so arbitrary is something that is done without any reason and rational means something that is done with, uh, with a reason. Okay, so here this could be your correct opposite of the given word arbitrary. Okay, so option C is your correct answer. Now, choose the correct synonym of the given word. It means you have to find out the same meaning word. Okay, Virtuous. Virtuous means a person who is behaving very like morally in a very good way. Okay. Who is free from sins, who is not guilty of anything is said to be a virtuous person. Okay. So now sinner again can't be the correct meaning. Okay. Can I, uh, a synonym of the given word and guilty. No. Innocent. Yes, it could be innocent who is free of guilt and sins. Okay. Wild means something that is very bad. Okay. So virtuous we have the synonym as innocent. Okay, so option C is your correct answer for the given question. Now, choose the part of the sentence that has an error. Okay, so here he was continuously saying that he hadn't stole the money, but he was proven guilty. So when you are using it like had, your action or the main verb should be in V3 form. Okay, it should be in the participle form. So it is the incorrect part of the sentence. It should be, he was continuously saying that he hadn't stolen the money, not stole. Okay, so we have error in this part of the sentence. So option C is your correct answer. Okay, so with this, we have completed the IEO level two paper. So students, all the very best for your IEO level two exam.